Hi, Sean and Ashlyn with a quick Vectorworks tutorial on an amazingly useful command that I'll use twice a year. Uh, but those two times that I use it, it saves me so much headache. And I did this recently myself and I realized that this would be a great tutorial to show you. Um, I'm a scenic designer and I will frequently be working in a new space. If I'm hired by a new company or the theater a company that I worked for before is renting a different theater, um, I will be sent by somebody, a technical director, uh, drawings like this. Typically, if I'm, if I'm lucky, it's a PDF like this one. Um, or it could be a scanned image of some old hand-drawn or photocopies of some architectural drawings or whatever. But as long as the drawing, PDFs are the easiest, and I'll show you why in a minute here, but uh, as long as the drawing was originally in scale relative to itself, it doesn't matter how many times it's been enlarged or contracted or shrunk to fit on a PDF, um, as long as, as this drawing clearly was drawn by some kind of CAD program, uh, things in this drawing are in scale relative to themselves, then this little command that I'm about to show you, the scale by distance command, can save you an enormous amount of time. If it is a hand-drawn, not-to-scale drawing, where things are just covered with dimension lines, you're just out of luck, you're going to have to draw from scratch. But if you're lucky enough to have something like this, even though I know that this uh, is no longer in quarter inch scale, it's off a little bit, and I bet you why that happened was this has been shrunk to fit by the PDF. Be really careful of that. It's terrific to export things to PDFs. It uh, makes it really easy to handy, handle the, the documents and you can email the documents that are a lot smaller than the Vectorworks files. I do it all the time and love it. But be careful, by default in Adobe, and I don't know, depending on what software you're using, the little checkbox that says scale to fit is checked by default. And what that's gonna do is just tidy up your drawing a little bit. Uh, the PDF creator is going to say, hey, you know, your margins could be just a little bit tidier if I shrunk this a little bit for you. Thanks a lot. And then maybe the change is so small that you don't notice it until you hit print and you hand your copies over to the shop and they start putting a scale rule down on top of the drawing and realize that everything is off just a little bit. That's a real headache. So make sure that as you are exporting to a PDF that you make sure the scale to fit checkbox is deselected in your PDF generator. That's probably what happened with this drawing because it's close. It's off by a couple of feet. It's close to quarter inch, but it's not quite. So it probably was shrunk a little bit by the PDF into some meaningless scale now. It's in like one, two, you know, seven eighths and a whatever. I mean, there's no idea what the scale is here, but we can fix it quite easily. So here's how you go about doing that. First of all, I'm gonna jump over here to uh, the first of two layers that I've created, one for the PDF that I'm about to import, and then one for the 2D tracing over of it that I will do to create my own Vectorworks copy of the drawing. So I'm gonna jump over here to the PDF layer, and notice here that I've also put it into scale. It's already in quarter inch scale. And I had a viewer ask me a question, well, if you're gonna use viewports and sheet layers, why bother changing the scale in the design layer? Well, there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, none of them are necessarily critical reasons, but they're kind of force of habit. I've been using Vectorworks longer than sheet layers and viewports have been around. We used to always print from the design layer, and I still frequently do. If I'm just gonna draw a quick 2D drawing, uh, I, I can just hit print from the design layer and not go to the trouble of creating the sheet layer or the viewports. So it's a little bit of force of habit, but it's also, I, I, it just takes a second to drop it into a scale. And, uh, and that way I know that I can cut and paste. And I, you know, it's really easy to, to work with. There may be really good reasons not to do that, but I don't know what they are. So, um, so that's why I do have this in scale. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to File and Import. I'm gonna import a PDF. Now, if you're bringing in a JPEG, a scanned image uh, of an original hard copy, you might be bringing it in as an image. But in this case, we're lucky enough to have a PDF, which is nice because Vectorworks handles PDFs very well. So I'm gonna import a PDF, I'm gonna grab that PDF and say okay, and then go ahead and drop it right onto the page. So I'll zoom in a little bit here, and I know, thank goodness, there is, a, well, notice too that it, it actually knows that it is a PDF page right there in the object info. Um, I have a dimension on here, this 37 foot four inches, and I know that that's how wide this opening here is supposed to be. I know that it's not that wide right now. So the way that I'm gonna fix that is with the PDF selected, you need to have the, the whole thing selected. So if I back out, there's my selection on there. I'm gonna zoom in here so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna go to modify and scale objects. And under scale objects here, the default is symmetric. 
you could do the math, I suppose, and figure out what, you know, if you knew what it was and what it should be, you come out with a 0 0.0921, what, you know, it'd take you forever to do the math for this. Or you can simply click symmetric by distance and click on this little box. Now I've done this before here, so it's automatically filling in these fields. But if these were blank, uh, I, uh, I can simply click on this little button right here. And that button is going to give you a cursor that's going to say, go ahead and give me a distance. So check this out here too, how Vectorworks knows that because it's, even though it's a PDF, it's able to snap right to that corner. Now, if you're using a JPEG of a pencil drawn drawing, it's kind of fuzzy and the edges aren't really clear. That's not, that's not going to work for you. You're just going to have to eyeball it and be real careful with what you do. Uh, but if you are fortunate enough to be taking it from some kind of uh, uh, sharp, crisp drawing like this, it snaps right to that corner. And all I have to do is go snap right over here to this corner. And sure enough, the length there is 33, 11 and three quarters. So it's off by a couple of feet. So if I click on this and it's saying, well, here's what it is. And if the, this is the first time you do this, this is going to be blank. And you just type in what you want it to be. Here's what it is. Here's what it should be. So it wants to be 37 foot, four inches. I type in 37 foot, four inches in here and say, OK. And then in an instant, see how it kind of jumped there and enlarged it up. So now if I go ahead and grab my uh, dimension line tools, I can snap back to the same two points and take a look at it and see, let's stick it up over here, 37 foot, four inches as it should be. So now if I'm fortunate, like for example, if I go ahead and measure from here, I only have the one dimension on here, so I'm not sure. But if I had another dimension, like I think this is supposed to be five feet from here to here. So let me just snap on these edges and see right there, 4, 11, and 7 eighths. Okay, I'll go with that. So um, if that is indeed five feet, I'll double check and make sure Then I know that things in the drawing have been scaled relative to each other. That's why, you know, as long as it was originally drawn as a scale drawing, you're fine with this trick. Now all you need to do is jump over here to your other layer. I highly recommend doing this on another layer. You will need to have it, uh, your layer views be um, show snap others. So as long as you've got the show snap others. You don't want to have show snap modify others because you'll be constantly selecting your PDF on the other layer. So pop it over into show snap others. And then all you need to do now is just use your 2D drawing tools to just start tracing over the drawing. Add a few add surfaces in here and you're all set. So I'll just start clicking away. You can use your double polyline tool. I use that all the time. If the walls are a uniform thickness, I just set it to Eight, eight inches or whatever and just trace everything over and then in no time you've got on your own new layer your redrawn theater. It'd probably take you 15 minutes to trace over a drawing like this and you've got a copy in scale in Vectorworks all ready to go. So I really hope this saves you a lot of frustration in the future. Um, that uh, The command again is modify and scale objects and then we're looking for that symmetric by distance and this little checkbox right here hopefully will save you all kinds of frustration in the future. Thank you so much.